uh, in the initial stages. This race coming up to the 250 meter mark shows every indication of splitting into two halves. In the front of the field, we have some really world-class type rowing coming from the uh, USC boat. Uh, very stylish, very accomplished, even in this rough cross chop. And they pushed out to a lead of nearly a length in the middle part of the uh, first, uh, the second middle, middle part of the first 500 meters. As we come up to the 500 meter mark, the USC crew have achieved open water on the Cal B crew, who have three quarters of a length over the Cal A crew. Oh, we've had a complete shipwreck in the stroke seat of the Cal B crew, and that's let their Cal A crew right back on them. And as a result, USC have gone further away um, from the Cal B crew. The Cal B crew lost momentum, and the Cal A crew are now fighting back and have taken several seats back on them. Uh, the crew in lane four, the Everett Rowing Association, are hanging on gamely and on, in echelon on the far side of the course. The second half of the race is Everett, Marin, and M Rowing. But as we move up to the 750 metre mark, it's the USC crew that has now opened up a two length boat lead on the Cal B and the Cal A crew. The Cal B crew, which had that shipwreck in the stroke seat, have uh, are struggling to uh, make to reachieve the momentum that they had earlier in the race and their a crew is creeping back on them inch by inch as they go past the 750 mark they've made up about two-thirds of a length of the deficit that they had on their b boat checking lane assignments it is cal berkeley a crew in lane one uh, lane two is berkeley b usc is in lane three everett rowing association in four fifth lane is marin and m rowing is out in the sixth lane usc currently on the lead Through 1,000 meters, SC continues to dominate in this particular race. They were being challenged by the Cal Berkeley B crew and also the A crew. B got into a little bit of trouble and has not regained the momentum at all. As a matter of fact, A has moved into the second position, but they're still trailing USC by a considerable amount. And then to the outside lanes, it is Everett, Marin, and M. Rowing. It is USC continuing on the lead with what appears to be at least a boat length, possibly two of open water. And apparently right off the start, they achieved that open water. It is the Berkeley B crew apparently having righted themselves and gotten back into second position and the A crew for Berkeley on the shoreline. Those two are going at it one another. And then there is quite a bit of open water back to Everett, Marin, and M. Rowing. With 500 meters to go, it is SC showing total dominance as they move along with a considerable amount of open water back to the Berkeley B crew and then the A crew from the University of California. It is a two echelon race as it looks like Marin has moved in to that uh, fourth position and then to the inside with Everett and the outside with M rowing. But this is US USC in domination in this particular event, the men's open grand final. USC rowing a pretty fine race here. This is the men's open uh, for the Joan Ward Memorial Cup. The uh, this event is typically reserved for fourth, uh, third, fourth, fifth varsity. I don't think USC had an entry in the men's event, so this would probably be their varsity. I'm speculating there. 
but a fine showing at least two and a half lengths three lengths of open water on the field leading from the start. Just for fun it might be interesting to watch the two Cal crews go after one another here. Currently the Cal B in lane two has the edge uh, over Cal Berkeley a boat on the near side. It's a on the near side B on the far side. It looks like they're separated about three seats as the a crew has tried to pick up the pace and uh, they look like they're closing ground on the B crew. So that is the interest of this race as USC has completed and moved across in first position. But as a second spot, we'll give it to the Cal B crew, the A crew on the near shore side. Now turning our attention back to Everett and Marin in a little bit of a bug tussle out there for bragging rights between the two of those. It is Everett on the near side and Marin on the far side. And it looks like Everett will get up and pick up the positioning, but our leader and our winner was the University of Southern California in a wire-to-wire -wire finish for the men's open grand final. We'll now go into a break period. This is our last event, number 82, for this morning's undertakings. We'll start back up at 12.30 with the event number 83, the women's junior grand final. your paddles and head to Mission Bay for the Maui Gym Outrigger Challenge, Saturday, April 26th. No experience or equipment necessary, and all participants receive complimentary tickets for the Wells Fargo Luau, complete with food from the kinds, beverages, Hawaiian entertainment, and more. For information, visit PacificLifeHolidayBowl.com. The Maui Gym Outrigger Challenge and Wells Fargo Luau, a Pacific Life Holiday Bowl production. of Sam Adams in my kitchen as a home brewer. Six weeks after he started the business, Boston Lager took the Best Beer in America Award. Last year, more than 1,900 homebrewers were entered into the Sam Adams Long Shot Competition. Homebrewers make some awesome beers. With Long Shot, beer drinkers could discover how good American homebrewers are. Now try the Long Shot winners and enter this year's competition. Get your homebrew kit and instructional video at samadams.com. Just brew it. 